This is the 15th anniversary of Canadian's Winter Wonderland at Red River Exhibition Park and we are so excited to be taking you on a tour of it before it opens up to the public tomorrow. To tell us a little bit more about what's waiting for your family, I want to introduce you to Jody Johnson. Good morning, Jody. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, it's not a problem at all because it's so enjoyable each year getting to see all the lights and all the different things. But let's uh, let's start with the elephant in the room or the <laughs> Christmas tree that can be visible from space. How tall is that thing behind us? It's 75 feet tall, over 3,000 LED light bulbs. Um, it's beautiful. It's the second year that it's been here and we get uh, comments from families all the time saying how beautiful it is. You're going to have to stand nice and far away so that you can get a good <laughs> shot of it. But when you do take pictures of things and you put them on social media, what's the hashtag we're using? Uh, holiday lights. We just really encourage folks to come out. We see people hopping out of their car and getting their family Christmas photo taken and of course share them on Facebook and share them on Twitter with your friends and family and we'd love to see them. Can you imagine how great social media is going to look with all these wonderful holiday pictures from Canadians Winter Wonderland? 26 themed areas so you can come and pick your favorite spot. Lots of people love Soldier Alley or they really mm. like um, uh, the winter uh, snowflake area so there's lots of fun things for families I like, to see. I like the dragon. I like to see where he's hiding each year <laughs> before he's by the exit. Uh, this way he's part way through. I won't give anyway surprises but everyone has their little favorite things that they like about this year and one of the other cool things that I like is when uh, we come on Wednesday night something pretty special we get these slick shades <laughs> tell me how these work uh, they're 3d <laughs> glasses and when you look at the light bulbs a little we'll say just a little surprise pops out at you so oh, it's Wednesday man. nights the first hundred cars will be treated to some 3d glasses and they're so fun just another fun family thing for for the holiday season. And uh, so many cool things that we got to mention too because we know that there's skating so we want to bring our skates but if we're touring around here and we need some snacks they're taking care of that as well? We sure do. There's a great little concession stand with all of you know your favorite treats like mini donuts and cotton candy and all kinds of fun things. Hot chocolate uh, if you need a little warm up. On the weekends, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays the sleigh ride comes and it's yeah. a cozy little sleigh ride with a fireplace yeah. built inside it. It's so fun. I know. It's all the <laughs> best things about like the holidays that you picture but you don't have to worry about getting cold because you're like inside of the car or you've got hot chocolate to warm you up after skating or there's a little stove on the sleigh ride. It couldn't be better and we want to make sure everyone's coming down and people can actually save a little bit of cash if they're picking up their tickets in advance, correct? They sure can. Canada Inns, Red River Co-op gas and grocery stores are max. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And you can save five dollars some if you buy your tickets in advance. They're fifteen dollars at the gate so either or you know you pack your pack your kids and and grandma and grandpa in the car and come and drive through the lights and Mums and dads tell us that the best part about the light show is that their kids usually fall asleep by the Ooh, end. Oh, that's great. You put on the, you tune into the radio station here, you get the holiday tunes, and you're having a great time. Uh, Jody, thanks for taking us on a, a tour of this year's Canadian's Winter Wonderland. Enjoy and happy holidays. You too. If you missed any of the details about this year's big event here at Red River Exhibition Park, you can get through those through the BT website at breakfasttelevision.ca.